Hi there, so in this one we're going to look at Vite with Svelte. Now Vite is super awesome, lightning fast HMR, instant server restart, lots of cool things. So I'm going to show you how to get started with Vite plus uh, Svelte. And Vite is what SvelteKit is using. So, uh, but I'm just going to show you a normal Svelte project with Vite. This is how I'm going to start using Svelte and uh, let me show you. So get started and then here we are getting started. You're going to come down to scaffolding your first Vite project. So we're going to run this command right here. So copy that. Paste in here. Actually, wait, let me move into a different document slash practice. Um, okay, I'm gonna run this here. Wait, is this going to, one more thing. Okay, make directory, vt. Okay, weird name, but that works. Okay, anyway, so in it, inside this vt um, folder. Okay, project name. Let's call it vt project. Sure, that works. Oh, I just called it vt again, whoops. Okay, and then you come down here, Svelte or Svelte TS. Let's do Svelte TS. And then change directory Vite. Oh, okay, it looks like I didn't need to make this directory up here. So I change directory into Vite, and then I, and, ooh, not that. I npm, ooh, I npm install, and then we'll change directory. Oh, I already did. So many directories. Okay, code dot, let's look at the code. Okay, so we come into here. And we'll see, we've got source, we've got global.d.ts, we've got our vite config, svelte.config, and let's come into source. Okay, so we got lib and assets. So let me open this up and start running the server. So let's see how quickly this starts, npm run dev. Cool, pretty quick. Um, keep in mind I am recording, and also this is M1 Mac, so just keep that in mind. Uh, so let's go here, I guess I can open it like that. Cool, and now we are right here. Now watch this, I can click up to 11, and then I can change something. Uh, hello type script, like that. Come back, and it's already there. And it saved my clicks right here, so that's pretty cool. Um, and the way it's doing that is with this hmr-stores. And I'm not going to get into it right now, but basically this syntax here, import.meta.hot, except dispose, this will preserve the store state between uh, hot model reload updates. Okay, um, and then another thing you can do, npm run build, and that'll build it right into your uh, dist right here. Okay, your index, and then you can put that onto Netlify or wherever. Um, I think that's about it for this video. I'm gonna get into this in a different video. It's really nice, it's really speedy, and you can start practicing for when um, Oh, look, it already says check out SvelteKit. Yeah, so for once um, SvelteKit is beta or um, fully released, you'll be using Vite, so this is a good way to get into it early. Here's another nice little file, global.d.ts. That doesn't come with uh, Svelte TypeScript, I think. And yeah, I think TypeScript is working a lot nicer here as well. I haven't played with it a ton, but um, it's a pretty good experience overall. So look into Vite here, try out your first project, and that's all for this video. Bye.